Hey everybody, Ron here, and today I'm going to talk about the concept of a devil's bargain in RPGs. I first encountered this concept basically in the Fate RPG, but my um, thoughts about this concept is really solidified when I played Blades in the Dark. So I'm going to read to you what Blades in the Dark says a devil's bargain is. Blades in the Dark is an optional rule where a player can choose to accept a complication or consequence. In Blades in the Dark, it's for an extra die on a roll. And so some examples of a devil's bargain would be like collateral damage or unwanted attention. You might need to sacrifice some resources or have a strain on relationships. You could suffer a level of harm. And then there's danger clocks in Blades in the Dark and a devil's bargain. You could get an extra die for an extra tick on the danger clock, which is bringing you one step closer to doom. In the game, the GM or other players can suggest the devil's bargains, but obviously there's a negotiation and it's ultimately up to the GM. I love this. I mean, this is, in fate, it's uh, success with a cost. I just talked about an excellent little game called Black Star, which in its game, you know, you roll two dice, you add an attribute, and you're looking for a nine. But if you fail, you can spend resolve, which is also your hit points in meta currency, to succeed at a cost. This isn't just limited to Blades in the Dark or Black Star. You can use this in any game. You can do things like attract unwanted attention. You know, like, for example, in a Star Wars game, you might have some outlaws on a heist in the, in, in the Empire or local security force to take notice of the actions. You can have a collapsing infrastructure. We've certainly seen this in different Star Wars movies and TV shows and what have you. If you're a Force user, you can have the dark side exert influence or even a Sith character too. You can bring some sort of a injury or risk to an ally, uh, damaged equipment, delayed reinforcements, and so on and so forth. And of course, moral quandaries. So the, the, and the key to this is using these during high stakes moments. You're not going to do this when like, can I unlock the door? You know, if there's no tension, there's no drama in failing the role, then it's not the time to use a devil's bargain. Maybe, you know, you're trying to unlock a door and you're under time pressure. You know, maybe there's a boulder ro rolling down the hall and you need to unlock this door so you can get out and you can escape. And then maybe your devil's bargain can be like, well, you succeed, but like you drop some equipment and that equipment gets crushed by the boulder or something like that. That's a devil's bargain in other games. So how about you? Have you used Devil's Bargains and Blades in the Dark, Black Star, or other role-playing games? How did it turn out? Please share in the comments below. Thanks for listening to this podcast. And until next time, see you later.